Alright, hello everyone. So this video is going to talk about how you can clear this complete suppression without the Fairy Queen defeating any of the Fairy Masses. The mechanic here that you want to focus on is that the Fairy Queen will eat the Fairy Masses when you stagger the Fairy Masses. And then when she gets really hungry, she'll try to eat them herself. And if you intercept the attack, then you can pretty much uh, stop it from happening. So the easiest way, like no brain required method, is just bring a tank. That's pretty much it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna borrow or even bring a K Cop Honglu pretty much. I, I don't it doesn't really matter what team com you bring, you can bring sinking, rupture, gluttony, whatever. Uh, you just bring yourself a tank that can heal himself. So for example, if I just take like K Cop Hong Lu, maybe I do a rupture team, right? Because K Cop Hong Lu is is also a pretty decent uh, rupture-ish character. Yeah, can just bring him and bring maybe like my uh, Lobotomy Ego Lantern Dawn for example. This might be a bit too expensive for some players, so maybe we just go like to a charge team. Then we just bring him along. Pretty much he's going to be our only main tank. We should try to give him an Ego that gives him Gluttony Resistance. But doesn't really matter too much. If you, if you, if you just pop like Thread Spin Soda one time. You pretty much have 0.5 times resistance to gluttony and that will actually help you quite a bit. So I'm just going to bring this just to change my element. The, if you don't know how it works, right? Uh, when you use your ego, you replace the other ego's element. So if I use soda, I will have this resistance instead. So this is totally fine. That means I will take 0.5 times damage from a lot of the enemies. Uh, I believe some of them also do wrath damage, but this is one times only, so it's totally fine. So something like this, and then after that, uh, let's just say I go and slap on some of my strongest characters. Preferably don't bring any AoE because this team should be trying to single target the boss down. So something like what, Rabbit, uh, you can bring uh, Reindeer, Dichi, W Corp, W Corp. Uh, like, there's a lot of different like single target options. You can bring Saint Clair. Try not to bring Philip because if you AOE down the ads by accident, you have to go and restart everything again, which I think it might be a little bit too annoying for some players. So maybe I'll bring single target here. Uh, bringing a second tank is totally fine also. That means you have two aggro options here. It's whatever, it's up to you. You can even bring like Rhino, Zoi, it's all good. This, and then maybe I'll bring a W Ryoshi, why not? As for who I want to give the library buff to, maybe I'll just give it to Ryoshu, yeah, and then uh, something like this. Okay, then bring the Zayn Ego, eh, not the Zayn Ego, the Soda Ego, so we can change his element. And for Dichi, Rodion, I don't think she has anything to change her element. She's gonna be two times weak to Wrath if I use that one. One times, one times is fine. Uh, 0 0.5, one times, not bad. Sanguine is 0 0.75 one time. That's pretty good actually. This one might be one of your better options. I'm not too sure. But yeah, doesn't really matter. You will if you want you can just bring a healing ego just to stabilize, but it's not really necessary. You should be able to kill the boss by the time you are like going to like end the fight pretty much. If you go for burn status, rupture status, sinking status, it will be a lot easier. I'm just using this thing comp here to show you that even if I don't go for any statuses, I can just beat the boss anyway. Alright, so since we have K-Cop Hong Lu, what I want to do with him is I want him to generate aggro every single turn. So only use skills or your guard skill to generate aggro. If you want, you can actually spam his guard skill, I think, uh, three times because you will get the passive, which is the uh, K-Cop MPO. As long as you don't uh, get four counts, you should be fine. So just make sure you have like, what, two K-Cop MPOs to give you some regen. And then after that, if you accidentally drop to your 20% uh, HP, then you get one more K-Cop Ampule and then you will be fine pretty much. Yeah. Right. So I'm just gonna like, let's see, can I guard anything here? Guard this. We want to just farm some SP here, so... Use your weakest moves on the fairy so you don't really have to worry about uh, staggering them. And then after that, let's uh, let's just clash these over here. I think we can use this to get some SP, use this to get some SP. Just set this here, and do this. Okay, that should be fine. <laughs> Never mind, we just do this then. Yep. Okay, we want to get hit, because we want to get the regen from the kick of Ampere.
내기 딱 황금 방법이었어. Alright, so now we have one more ampule. Uh, let's use our guard skill one more time. We can tank this one. Preferably, we don't tank this one. In that case, we can do something like this. We can just clash that, maybe win. He, he gets hit by this, doesn't matter. He's K Cop Bong Lu. And then we just focus on breaking the left arm and right arm so we can get the bleed going. So let's do something like this, and then something like this, something like this. Just pound that left arm. Okay, yeah, looks fine to me. Unleash. Kinda sucks that he got hit there, but no worries. Let's see what else. Uh, generating aggro. Alright, let's intercept these two skills here. Dawn can intercept that. Good. This one is K Corp. We can use our Ninclair to intercept. Nah, we we'll just use K Corp to intercept. There we go. Alright, and then this one is going to hit my Ryoshu. Can she live that? No, she can't really live that. In that case, just dodge. Boom. Alright, and then this tiny wing beat will hit my K Corper. Mm, any other dodge characters I can use to tank this? Okay, we can use our guard skill here. Let Ro uh, Rodion tank it. And then we will continue pounding away at this weak arm of his. Do I have enough charge? I do have, but I don't want to lose any more health. Just break that arm. The faster you break the arm, the better, because once you break the arm, she will uh, start bleeding every single turn, makes the run a lot faster. So now what happens is that he gets real hungry and tries to eat these guys over here. Well, since we are using our tanks here, we can just try and pull some aggro towards us. So let's see what we can do here. Uh, I'm gonna guard maybe this skill over here. Yeah, got this skill. This one's gonna attack Ryoshu. Ryoshu can just evade. Or we can use Dodd to evade, yeah that seems pretty good. Alright, let's evade that. Then this one's targeting Rodion. Yeah, she's not gonna take any damage, it's totally fine. So then the rest of you can just go and pound away at the enemy over here. Let's break that left arm. Just use all of your damage skills to break that left arm. Also just realized since Ninclair is gaining sanity every turn, this kind of sucks. But <laughs> I think it's fine. I can still clear even with this kind of sus Team Kong. Uh, who wants to clash this? Favorite? Yeah, that's fine. Eh, no, let's use this instead. There we go, looks nice. So this is getting one-sided attack, this is evaded, and this is guarded. Perfect. Recommend you not to bring Ninclair because I forgot you gained sanity, but doesn't matter, we will win anyway. Right, let's see which arm is broken. Oh, both of them are broken. Alright, so he should start bleeding constantly. This one is attacking who? Rodion. Alright, um, let's see what I want to do here. Let's make... Who should I make dodge today? Maybe no dodging today, maybe just another block. Alright, go ahead and block that. And then you one sided attack that arm. And then you just keep attacking here. 
uh, rip space into the right arm, dealer into this arm, and then another uh, to gain more charge count. Did I make a misplay? I think I made a misplay. I forgot to intercept the attack. Mm. But it didn't even kill the thing, so yay! No punish. Woo! I love not getting punished. Right, let's see. Uh, yeah, don't do what I just did, where I just let this hit the enemy, but yeah, whatever. Never punished. Love to see it. Okay, so now let's see what's hitting who. No damage, has some damage. You can go and guard this then. Alright, so he get hit, get hit, get intercepted. Alright, then everyone else just focus down the arms over here. Boom, boom, and boom, and that should be... Honestly, is... will that kill? It might kill, not sure. Yeah, it kills, alright. Uh, even with positive sanity in Claire, I still kill. <laughs> Alright, there you go. Not a single fairy mask eaten. Super simple. Just bring tanks or bring a dodge character just to avoid the hits from the fairy masses. The fairy masses don't even do that much damage if they hit you. So if you bring the right like stuff... I didn't even use the Soda Honglu, so it's really up to you what you want to do, because you don't need that much tankiness to tank all those fairy masses. It's usually the boss that you need to care about. Yep. Alright. That is a very nice and easy one. Just give whoever is a very strong single target specialist the library of... Um, I can't remember the name of it, but the buff, basically. Make it your first character. So, whether it be W Corp, whether it be another W Corp, whether it be Grippy, because Grippy, if you give Sinclair uh, first action, he gets two actions, right? So, the positive sanity just prevents him from corroding. So, I, I think if you give him the first position, it might actually be a viable option. And then you can just bring whatever amount of tanks you want to bring, because they make the life... You make, they make the fight a lot easier. So, you can just keep focusing down the boss. And that is pretty much uh, this uh, challenge completed. Really, really easy, pretty much. Alright, so that's going to be it for this video. Really easy one. Uh, have fun and good luck with your own clears. Alright, that's all. Bye-bye, everyone.